So, I sold my truck. Yay! But I'm sitting in my truck, and you're wondering, why are you sitting on your truck? Obviously, on the side of the road, um, with, you know, said nice view, but cars traveling past, and you're not going anywhere. Well, there's a reason for that. Um, I wasn't going to fill up with gas, I was selling the truck. And then, um, buddy wanted me to drive the truck to where it was going instead of the trailer that he thought he had. Ah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'll tell you why not, because I ran out of gas. <laughs> and so he's going, and anyways. And, you know, it's one of those things that it's just, this truck is spent, this truck is done, and now it can't go anywhere because it ran out of gas. But here's the thing. Despite the fact that my truck is spent, my truck is old, my truck is nigh unto death. Um, Buddy's going to get some gas. He's going to pour it in the truck. The truck's going to fire up and I'm going to drive again. And granted, it's not going to be with the same fervor as a new truck. Um, and it's going to have some bounces and some creaks and some grinds and some squeals. Actually, it's squealing like a banshee on fire because <laughs> the differential is going anywhere. But I find it interesting that um, what killed it was it just didn't have the source of energy. You ever get that way? You just don't have the energy. I mean, there's a whole lot of other things that are going on. Things that could easily um, hobble you. But you keep going, you know, despite everything. And then it's just you're spent you're out of energy you just don't have it in the tanks anymore and you're on the side of the road and everybody's blown by you and everybody can tell that there's something wrong um and you can give it a lot of excuses yeah it's a diff um it's the creaks it's the groans but at the end of the day you're just tired tired's okay i get tired and sometimes we just need to rest. I'm thinking of Elijah mm. and after his moment with the priests of Baal and Asherah and uh, had that whole amazing thing and um, fire from heaven and this great victory for God. And then he got tired and one thing happened. Bathsheba said she's going to kill him and he just like, oh Lord, take me now. Why? Because he was tired. You know, yeah, there was some stuff that was going on. But at the end of the day, he was just spent. And you know what God did? God put him to sleep. God says, take a rest. You need a rest. You need to take a break. You need to be rejuvenated. You need to rest. Well, I don't know where you're at today. and Maybe you're just tired. Maybe things have just been more than the normal. That's where I'm at. And it's just, you know what? You need to take a break. You need to take a break before you break down. So I hope that's an encouragement to you. And it says, They that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. All right. Bye for now.